Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath on Monday presented a report card on the completion of 100 days of his government in his second tenure. A short film highlighting the achievements of the state government was also screened at the event held in Lok Bhavan in Lucknow. Adaniya Pradhan Mantri Sri Narendra Modi ji ke netrutto mein unke marg darshan mein अभी हाल ही में प्रदेश में संपन्न हुए विधानसभा चुनाव में भारतीय जनता पार्टी गठबंधन को प्रचंड बहुमत देकर के जिस उद्देश्य से अपना आशीर्वाद दिया था जीत का वह सिलसिला जन विश्वास का प्रतीक तो था ही वह निरंतर नित नए प्रतिमान स्थापित कर रहा है उत्तर प्रदेश के इतिहास में सैतीस वर्षों के बाद यह अवसर आया था जब कोई सरकार अपना पांच वर्ष का कार्यकाल पूरा करे और पांच वर्ष के अपने कार्यकाल के उपरांत फिर से प्रचंड बहुमत के साथ सरकार बनाए पहली बार उत्तर प्रदेश के इतिहास में किसी मुख्यमंत्री ने अपना कार्यकाल पूरा किया इन दी एक्शन प्लान फॉर द फर्स्ट हंड्रेड डेज द योगी गवर्नमेंट हैड डिसाइडेड टू क्लब द वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड स्कीम्स इन टू टेन डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द टारगेट्स सेट एंड द रिजल्ट्स अचीव्ड बाय द डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स protection sector work related to flood protection was to be completed before june 15 including the repairing of the old embankments the ekyc for farmers was completed by may 31 the government showed commitment to making sugarcane price payments to farmers within 14 days all necessary efforts were made for this furthermore grant transfer to the units approved under the uttar pradesh food processing industries policy 2017 was done in this period to infrastructure, industrial development and power. A target for the construction of power lines was set, which was met in a time-bound manner. Seven new substations of 4,126 MVA capacity were to be built in 100 days to make a big contribution to strengthening the power supply. 3. Social Security Sector For the modernization of Madrasa education, preparations were made to launch a mobile app, the Gram Panchayats were integrated into the food grain purchase scheme and doorstep delivery was arranged. Efforts were initiated towards authorizing fair price shops as common service centers. 4. Urban Development Sector We didn't need to introduce electronic bus services in municipal corporations. The fleet of e-buses operating in 14 cities in the state doubled in 100 days. Meanwhile, preparation to start a work on the Gorakhpur Metro Light project has been initiated. The PWT department focused on completing the 100-day action plan as well as on preparing the road network for big plans and accessible traffic. 5. Medical and Health Sector Adequate deployment of doctors and nurses for the smooth functioning of medical services was to be made. Eligible professionals were selected by creating posts as per the requirement. State employees and pensioners benefited from cashless medical facilities. Adequate availability of medicine was maintained. 6. Rural Development Sector The work of establishing two high-tech nurseries in every district was to be ensured through MGNREGA. Meanwhile, at least two model gram panchayats in every district were to be saturated with all basic amenities and developmental work. 7. Tourism and Cultural Department among other efforts, the online integrated temple information system was developed in view of the convenience of devotees and tourists within the past 100 days. 8. Education and Youth Welfare Sector Efforts were made to start Wi-Fi facilities in government schools. The Carrier Counseling Portal, Bank, School Online Monitoring, Grading and E-Library portals were de developed. Important work like Fit India, Namami Kanj, Tree Plantation, Blood Donation, cleanliness, relief and rescue from COVID was done. 9. Home Guard and Personal Department Efforts were made to bring down the response time of UP 112 further to 10 minutes. 
A single window system for police, prosecution and organization was implemented in a phased manner. In order to strengthen law and order, a new women's PSC battalion was formed in Jalan, Mirzapur and Balrampur districts respectively. 10. Revenue Collection Sector in order to intensify the awareness campaign for more merchants to be registered under GST, a target was set to carry forward the campaign by establishing regular contact and dialogue with business organizations and bar associations. The one-time settlement scheme was implemented for the purpose of a speedy settlement of pre-GST litigations and areas.